Welcome everyone, we are on Radio Generals and uh, we're going to be taking a look at this straight from the start, right from the beginning, right from the get-go. Uh, this is a Radio Commander style game uh, back in the World War II. I'm here with Sim UK. Hi Mike, Good morning. how are you buddy? Good morning. How are you doing? I am great, how are you today? Fantastic buddy, fantastic. Aside from my uh, keyboard getting all coffeeed up and uh, I had to open it and repair it, uh, everything's that's a, fine. That's a minor problem. Minor, yeah, we got over that hump, uh, it's working fine and we're back on board. So thanks for joining me, thank you. Uh, guys, check out Sim UK on uh, his YouTube yes, channel. Uh, he has check plenty of out. YouTube channels, he's got a lot of good stuff and uh, some of it is... Uh, Especially the series, Is It Any Good? So check out Is It Any Good? He does wonderful reviews on his YouTube channel about games and gives good, clear, concise uh, thoughts. Uh, very unbiased and very uh, down to earth. So check him out, Sim UK mm -hmm. on YouTube. All right, so uh, much. give us a little summary of Radio General. You've been talking to the devs about this game as well, so maybe we can get some more insight on uh, what this game is all about. Well, it's um, similar to Radio Commander, a game that came out, I think, uh, middle of last year or something. That was based in Vietnam. This is a World War II similar equivalent of that. And there are quite a few similarities, but actually the two companies are absolutely not in any way connected. Um, this has been in development way before um, Radio Commander even sort of was thought about, apparently. And it's a far more strategic type game there's a lot more information here it's a lot more historically accurate and um, I think it's quite a bit more difficult as well it's it's far more tactical you definitely have to think about it and it's got this fantastic co-op mode which we're going to try and crack on with today uh, that allows two radio operators to split the units that are used within a mission between them and they can interchange them so if you had three and I had one you could pass control of one of those units over to me and vice versa. Um, so it's it's really quite accomplished. Now, it's it's not released yet. It's, this is not the full title. Uh, there was a big patch went up yesterday that fixed a bunch of bugs um, and issues that they were having with the co-op specifically. And there are a few slight issues uh, or problems with speech recognition because this whole radio system works off your voice commands. And there are certain things like Juliet, I've discovered is a very complex word that the, the game doesn't seem to pick up on very well. And Lima, uh, which is the radio reference for the letter L, it doesn't pick that up either, but it picks it up if you say Lima. So there's a few little quirks like that that we're going to we're gonna have today that hopefully won't be there on release day, which is on the 9th, by the way. Oh, fantastic very soon so you have actually given us a few preview videos of uh of this game already on your channel i have yeah there's um there should be a video going up every sort of two or three days uh just covering one of the campaign eras and i may do all of the campaign or i may leave the very last one out so as not to spoil the surprise for everybody smart man smart um, man so i might swap that out and put uh some multiplayer that we do today in there instead have you done your uh, very interesting is it any good review on this i haven't yet i've been formulating my review over the last week and a half um, oh, so we're gonna we're gonna be looking forward to that as well yes Fantastic. The, th the thing with um, this game is it's quite progressive so it starts off very easy at the beginning kind of like a tutorial and um as you work your way through the missions and the campaign periods it gets more and more complex um, and as such you get more and more features and stuff that appears that you had no idea existed beforehand so I'm really trying to work my way through the entire campaign in order to give a proper review fantastic all right so uh, let's get on with this uh, don't forget guys you can always share like favorite subscribe uh, sim UK's channel my channel uh, go ahead and we're almost close to 50k guys so uh, if you want to yeah. Just give us a bit Woo. of support. Yeah, we're going to be doing a small giveaway as far as that is concerned as well. So look forward to that. All right, and let's oh, get coffee on. Coffee covered. Uh, <laughs> coffee, coffee covered keyboard, keyboard probably. 
<laughs> Sinosachroma. <laughs> it is the GR version, so there are characters that are in Greek on the keyboard. But I'm sure you wouldn't mind. You can bypass that. No, I'm just kidding, guys. We're going to do a nice giveaway. So look forward to that. 50k. Yeah, I'm really, really happy. Looking forward to that. So we're going to start off with a tutorial or a online co-op. Or what are we going to do first? What would you like to do first? I'm not sure if you can play the tutorial as part of the online co-op or not okay. um because we did a little test run yesterday didn't we to make sure we could connect yeah let's just go with online co-op and uh I'll, okay i'll do a tutorial uh for all my fans uh maybe today or tomorrow all right we'll just jump on that so i'm going to start a new one okay you you go ahead create a uh yeah thing as we did yesterday okay do we want realism normal or high there's low normal or high uh personally i put realism on high um damn it i knew you were gonna say that <laughs> yeah well that's the only way i roll but honestly it's not it's not i mean it's this is hard it is hard if you want to achieve all of the objectives you're going to struggle but i've only failed one mission and i'm nearly all the way through and that's not because it's easy. That's because I've been taking my time and playing it, you know, realistically. Okay. So um, it's it's totally doable, and you've got me on your team, so I can help us through. And right, I I'm, I am going to need your help. I am going to need. Yeah, I'm a veteran. I'm a veteran. I know exactly awesome. what I'm doing. All right. Do we use NATO so symbols? Enemy, get instead? down! Get down, Jimmy! <laughs> God damn you! You're not listening. <laughs> uh, use NATO symbols or in, instead of figurines? I guess not. Right. Uh, I don't. Okay. Some, I don't really know why pe some people do that, but yeah, you know. Yeah. Well, to their own. if they're working for NATO, I'm sure they'd want those NATO things up. <laughs> yeah, maybe All so, right. Maybe so. I have played before, and I want to skip the tutorial. Oh. Yeah. So don't don't tick that. I'm quite happy to. I mean, if awesome. we can co-op through the tutorial, that's fine by me. All right. So we're gonna name this uh, Dal Sim. How's that, Dal Sim? Sounds good. And we're going to actually test to see if our, all our keyboard keys are working <laughs> as well. All right. So looking for players, check out our Discord. No uh, friends only. How did I do this last time? Create lobby name, Dalsim. Public. Invite only, I guess. Should I go public, friends only, or invite only? To be honest with you, you go public. I mean, it's it's not been released yet, so it's not like there's going to be a lot of people. All right. There are going to be a handful of uh, beta testers like us. Right, and I'm inviting you now. Cool, I see it. Perfect. Oh, you just jumped so right I in. Say, Hello, awesome. Jimmy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the team. Welcome. And also, I don't know if you can hear that. Um, yep. When you type in this game, if you type me a message, you'll hear it. But it kind of does a keyboardy sound. It's quite immersive, this game. Yeah, let me see. Let me try it out. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. There you go. Nice, you got the MY in as well. Excellent. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> and it's pronounced Mike, guys, just for your information's sake. I uh, I thought it was Mick for the longest while and uh yeah, he just trolled me on that one. So uh, let's go for nineteen is it the earliest date we want to go for? Nineteen forty two. The earliest date is the tutorial. I think it's nineteen forty two, is it? Forty two? I don't have it. I only have forty three Ah, 43, 44? Yeah. So you've got four mission options, four campaign options. I got, no, I have Sicily, which is three options. And then I have Italy, which is four options, 1943, 44. And then I have Normandy, which is uh, five options. Ah, yeah, okay, so there's four campaigns, not five, sorry. I split my, I split my first video, I forgot. So it, based on that, it means you don't have the tutorial available to us in the co-op itself. Well, the one, two, three, I think, is the tutorial, which is 1943 Sicily. 
I think that's the second campaign. Okay. Yeah, the tutorial's only got two <coughs> missions in it. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely... The, the tutorial's definitely not there. All right, so no tutorial. You guys, if you want to watch the tutorial, uh, I'll probably do a separate video for that, so stay tuned. And I'm probably going to put that up first. All right, so let's go for 1943 Sicily. Uh, mission 1, Battle of Pacino Airfield. The Allies land on Sicily. Uh, the nearby airfield and towns must be taken, but friendly reinforcements are slow to arrive. Naval artillery support is used to beat off a large counterattack. Interesting. We'll play that. Okay, I clicked on it. And... Looks like the bugs are starting. What are you experiencing? It's all disappeared. <clears throat> all I see is the table in front of me. Oh. The, camp the campaigns. Not seeing anything so rather else. than improving it, they've broken it. Probably. That's a good update. <laughs> uh, what is going on? I can't even press back anymore. Should we reload? Yep. Reload okay. the game. Wow, that was unfortunate. Yeah, I was trying to do the map this morning. Okay. Um, like create create my own map using the map editor, and that crashed as well. Interesting. So right, maybe there we go again. Patches. The devs are called yeah. foolish mortals. I like that name. It's good, isn't it? Absolutely. We are just fellow but Canadians. More fellow Canadians. Oh, interesting. Nice. Good to know. All right, and after a game crash and a bit of loading time, we are back on. So let's try this again, online co-op. Bring our friend back in. I sent you an invite, my friend. Got it. Beautiful. Uh huh. Why is it not showing you? Let's try and chat with you. There, there go. you go. Is it after you chat that it starts working? No, no. It's um, it was weird. It, it had the Dalsim Sicily uh, name of the, the the game there. Yeah. But your uh, your player icon wasn't there, so I just okay. went out, came back in, and then it was fine. Oh, perfect. All right, try this again. Hopefully it's going to work this time. Game is starting. Yes. Ah, that's better. I've gone black this end. Okay. That didn't happen last time. Yeah. Perfect. July 10th, 1943. Pacino, Sicily, Italy. Now this um, cork board that we're looking at here, this is one of the things I really like about this game. There's a lot of these, like, photographs with a bit of information about what you're looking at. There's Col uh, Colin Montgomery. There's Montgomery there. Uh, and there's like these, um, what's this called? The gum card series. Have you ever heard of those before? Right. They've got just a whole bunch of like historically accurate, uh, information sheets and newspaper snippets, uh, military handbooks. Um, and then obviously you've got this telegram. It's all really quite immersive. I really like it. And at the bottom there, you've got this like, um, show reel 
don't know if you want to show one of those for the video, but um, they're really good. All right. I'll play like 10 seconds of it uh, at most. Um, I see that this is the Canadian uh, Army's perspective uh, according yes, to is, the yes. war. Fantastic. All right, so let's click on the reel. Let's watch a quick 10 seconds. I don't know if we're going to get a copyright, but we'll try it out. Nothing to lose. So each time you complete a mission, you sort of unlock a new one of these, and um, they're, they're not recreated, they're official. Canadian-built rams of the Three Rivers and Calgary Tank Regiments board their LCTs in preparation right, for so another... Alright, so you guys get a picture uh, of what the uh, Canadian newsreel, Canadian Army newsreel is like, but uh, to watch the full version, uh, just buy the game. <laughs> so here we go. We'll click on continue. Each mission requires you to fill unit slots. Left click and drag units to unfilled slots. Read the briefing and pick the right units for the job. So on, the, on the left board, you've got your overview of the mission itself, which is like a historically accurate uh, overview. Then you've got an intel report, which basically we need to know about. To th we need to know what we're facing, basically, when we're, we're going into the mission. Right. Obviously, you have the map. Um, you've got location one, location two, location three. That'd be different, obviously, for every single mission. And then you've got your objectives, um, which, if you achieve your objectives, you'll get bonuses, and those bonuses can be applied to your to your men, which is what we're looking at here. These Royal Canadian regiments. All right. So I'm going to go with Wiley on the top, mm -hmm. and. We'll try eager for reinforcements since they are, well, for the reserve. I well, mean. so if you're looking at the deployed units on the right, right, because we're doing co-op, I've got control of the reinforcements. Okay. So you can only deploy the initial, initial units and the, and and the, the reserves. reserves. Yeah. Yeah. And what have you chosen for your uh, reinforcements? I'm going to go for the trigger happy. Trigger Hastings happy. <laughs> Interesting. All right, so let's get on with the show. Ah, here we are. Royal Infantry Infantry, reporting in the call sign table. Here at Boxer on time. Why are we infantry always in the short stick? Ah, 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 very funny. Uh, it may be useful to plan troop movements before the mission starts. Right click on the colored pencils in the left to draw on the map. Hit Alt or right click on the wooden pointer on the left top of the drawing. Wooden pointer? So if you um, if you look down at the map on your left hand side you've got a selection of pencils. You've also right. got like a, a big pencil but it's not actually a pencil it's just a wooden Right. A wooden thing. Yeah, I see that. And that's that. how you get the... So if you right-click on the blue pen, you see a little blue pen pops up. And if you right-click on that wooden thing, it puts the pens back down. Not quite sure why they've done it that way, but that's the way they've done it. Okay, I see. All right, so... Uh... What's kind of nice is you can move all this stuff around your desk. So you can have it set up any way you like. Oh, you don't cool. have to have that on the left. You can have it up on the top or whatever. There's also a pipe there. If you pick that up and right click on it, you can light it up, have a little right. smoke. So our objectives are Holt Pacino and Holt Pacino Airfield. Right. Oh, if you have a swig of brandy, it makes your eyes go funny. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Let's try that. I've not done that before. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> it's all out of focus now. <laughs> yeah. Get your head in the game. <laughs> Even the pipe smokes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's uh, it's it's nice. And if you look at the lamps, you can turn the lamps on and off as well. It's quite the, weirdly the big one at the top is the only lamp in the whole tent that doesn't do anything, which is a bit strange. But right. yeah, they all sort of turn on and off, which is nice. Very cool. Very cool. Good for immersion. So I'm going to tell you about the field manual real quick. Yeah. So basically, the field manual bottom right hand corner of you is. Uh, Every, it's like a tutorial in written form. 
everything you could possibly want to know is uh, covered there. It's really quite in depth, well written, uh, and informative. All right, so we have I voice have commands, device. hold space bar. Okay, we know that. Uh, unit stats, health remaining, damage, morale, defense, and flanking. And then you got terrain and land marking, roads, towns, airfields, forests, minefields, swamps, beaches, cannons, and terrain elevation, colored contour lines, mark, elevation, warmer colors denote higher ground, cooler colors denote low ground. Okay. Units on higher ground gain vision. Oh, interesting. And attack range. Damage re is reduced when fighting uphill. And increased when shooting downhill. So damage is increased when you're shooting yeah, so downhill. The, the, I, I did exactly the same as you. It's damage inflicted rather than damage taken. Right. Oh, cool. Okay. So, so you can do more damage when you're shooting downhill. Downhill, yeah. Because yeah. you have it's the advantage. Written, it's, it sounds like it's written back to front, doesn't right. it? Right. That's what I got yeah. as well. Yeah. So moving uphill also slows movement. No movement change moving downhill. Awesome. And then we have infantry organized into a hundred man companies and are useful on attack, but are best on defense, capable of fighting tanks, but will lose unless fortified. How do you fortify an infantry uh, unit? So if you um, if you're going to hold a position, you can dig in. Okay. Which effectively is digging a hole and getting below the ground. So that makes you fortified in that sense. Okay, so that's what they mean by uh, fortified. All right. Yeah. Tactics. Infantry effectiveness is highly dependent on the terrain. Always fight on high ground and be in towns or forests. Dig in at key positions or landmarks. Overlook overlooking roads. Armaments. Lee Enfield rifles. Bren light machine guns. Piat anti-tank launchers. Sten submachine guns. Light mortars. Vickers heavy machine guns and grenades. Scouts. Scouts are organized into smaller 25-man platoons. This smaller size gives more maneuverability and stealth, but sacrifices firepower. Scouts should be used as spotters. Scouts ignore camouflage and can spot snipers and other scouts. They are ideal for hunting down snipers. Scouts are skirmishers and automatically retreat if against en unfavorable enemies, tank, infantry, and companies. Uh, scouts are also somewhat camouflaged and can move around without being spotted. Tactics. Move scouts ahead to identify enemies and ambushes. Uh, use them to kill enemy snipers, artillery, and anti-tank guns. Never use scouts as garrisons as they automatically retreat. Instead of place scouts on high ground around key locations. How do you separate uh, scouts from your infantry? How do you separate them? Yeah, how do you set uh, a scouting unit? I think uh, a scouting unit, I think, is uh, like a sniper. I think. All right. Are they individual it's... units from the infantry, or do you have to separate yeah, them they're... physically? I think they're separate from the infantry, yeah. Okay. I'm not 100% sure on that, I, and I've, I'm, I'll cover it in my review, but I had an issue before where I had... Um, I had a couple of hours at night to scout and um, clear mines, and my my quote unquote scout scout team or sniper team just kept getting in fights, even though I really didn't want him to. Um, so I feel like maybe the there needs to be a command that says do not engage, only right. fire if fired upon. Um, and maybe there is in the game, um, but I haven't quite stumbled across it yet. All right, so we, we should uh, note that and actually ask uh, devs if they can adjust that little... Uh, yeah, well, like, like I say... Um, that little issue. It, as you progress through the through the missions, you get a whole bunch more control and options and stuff uh, okay. allowed to you. And once you've completed a campaign, you unlock free roam, which means you can put any unit in there you like. You pick the units yourself. Um, so... 
I'll probably have a bit of time doing that, and then maybe I'll figure out how to do that. But uh, we right. might even figure it out today. You never know, Jimmy. Yeah, why not? With two of us All right. Playing. So right now we have the radio in front of us, and I have Able Team, which is Team One. Uh, where are they located? Do I know? As before, I even start the game where they're located. So uh, in the bottom left-hand corner of the map, that's the sea. You can see we have a boat there, and we have uh, Charlie unit uh, char on Charlie Seven. We have a unit icon. Mm -hmm. I would guess, and it's been a while since I played this mission, that Abel is on that marker there. Right. But I don't know for sure. Best thing to do: um, the mission doesn't start until you say mission start. So you can always uh, ask Abel where they are right now and then start the mission and they'll immediately tell you and then you All can right, just leave. Let's it. try that because we only have a 14 minute window where we have to get things yes. done. So we're going to have to actually move along quite swiftly when the game gets started. So let's try that out first. We've also got a pause button, Jimmy, which we didn't uh, entertain yesterday. Right, I um, forgot about that. But we can do that today, and then if you have any questions or if uh, I need to explain something in more detail, then we can always pause and just go over it. Fantastic, fantastic. Cover it that way. All right, let's go for uh, our first command. Uh, it is a voice command, so... Abel, report status. Abel here, you're at Foxtrot. Uh, I won't give you the status report until... Oh. The mission starts, but you've now you fed them that uh, request. So as soon as the mission starts, that's the very first thing they'll do is they'll report back in. All right. This so they told me they're at Foxtrot Nine. So I'm going to place their. Uh... Oh, they they reply they did reply yeah, to you straight yeah. away. Yep, they ah, did. Ah, interesting. Okay. Well, before we start, then Jimmy, let's yeah. just have a little look at the um, the uh, the objectives for this mission. We have to hold Pacino and hold Pacino Airfield. Right. Other than that, there are no objectives at all. So if I take the green pen... Uh, can, just, before that, can we actually give uh, a bit of feedback on what the controls are on this game and how you move around visually? Um, well, I think we can only do that once the mission has started because at the moment you can't show the controls. Uh, but I am moving the... Uh, the map around, can... the table around. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the table controls. And stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, by all means. Okay. So uh, go ahead and explain what the uh, actual keys are, if you, if you like. Okay, so you've got WASD, which will move you around um, the desk, right. if you will. Okay. You've got page up and page down, which will change your angle of view. And you can even turn it to the point where you can't see the table at all or you can go completely over the top the only issue with that is that sometimes uh, the radio system you've got in your top left hand corner each of those channels which are the little uh, buttons to the right of the two big yellow rectangles uh, they represent the units that the are units. in the fight right and sometimes if there's an important event it will automatically switch to them it doesn't do this in hardcore mode, by the way, but only in uh, medium and easy. But if they've just got like an update, like they spot an enemy or something like that, it will flash, but it won't switch. So you won't be able to hear them until you switch the channel. So you do need to be able to see that radio as well, just to just to be clear about that. Cool. So whilst you've got your WASD and your angle set up and you're happy with how you're looking at the screen, you can use the scroll on the mouse to zoom in and zoom out particularly useful if you're having a, a hard-fought battle in a, a, a certain location um, and pretty much that's all you can do with the with the desk as I say if you right click on any of the uh, charts you've got the message log top right hand corner on that clipboard you've got the field manual which we've already looked at but uh, that's pretty much it and then you've got the clock I guess top right hand corner when the mission starts you see you've got uh, a speed there you have zero, which is paused, one times, and five times, and ten times, I think. Interesting. Very cool. All right, so I just drank my brandy. I had a bit of a pipe. <laughs> Looks like we're ready. <laughs> All right, let's I'm do this, guys. I'm going brandy myself. There we go. That's okay. cleared things up. <laughs> All right, so let's start the game. Have a good one, buddy. Here, 
I love how it scrolls out into the uh, field, shows you the time, and then scrolls back in. Do you have a pause button on the timer? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. And everything turned so black and white you're... now. Yes, yes. So because you've um, started the or created the uh, the co-op game, mm -hmm. you have controls that I don't. And you also get to see a few bits of information that I don't. Okay. So I can't pause it my end, only you can pause it your end. All right. But being able to pause it allows us to plan what we're going to do. Perfect. So we've obviously the two uh, points we want to take are location three and location one. But we're coming in off the beach. So we need to, cr um, we need to sort of plan which route we're going to take to get in. Can't we and just jump into location two uh, right away? Absolutely, yeah. All right. So, I'll so the only the only unit on the map at the moment is Able, and yeah. that's controlled by you. You got the boat, which is going to be available to us in eight minutes and forty seven seconds. That will okay. give us uh, military bombardment capability. And it looks like you're coming in uh, at one forty seven. One forty seven. So my unit will land uh, at Charlie Seven in one minute and forty seven seconds. All right. So, so I have to give I, the command to go to Massini before we uh, before we continue. You, you can do, yeah, yeah, if you send Abel to uh, to Malcini. All right, and you were um, about to say? Secure that beach But that, obviously, that's not an objective of ours. So taking it is good because it gets us on the beach, but it's not um, it's not an objective. So oh, okay. we need to think about how we're going to move on to Pacini. And we've got, um, like, the, the, uh, the pencils and stuff are really important to communicate between the two of us as to what we're doing and what units we're doing. Because I can't move your unit able. Yeah. I can't interact with them at all. So the only the only way I know what they're doing is if you, exactly like that, you draw something on the map and um, m you have to physically move that unit as they move so that I know where they are. Perfect. So if I'm about to drop a military bombardment and you haven't told me that they're in location two and I drop it on there, they're all going to die. Right. That gotcha. kind of thing. All right, so let me give the command. I'm unpausing. Able. Move to location two. Able here. And on up, Chapter Martini. All right, so they're going to move there. I'm pausing. Anything you want to interject with? Uh... Only that um, if you right-click on Able itself, you'll get a list of controls that pop up. Down in the bottom right-hand corner is a stats bar. That's quite useful because um, that tells you about their morale. If their morale drops too low, they won't stay and fight. They'll run. Um, and it'll tell you how many units you've got, how many injured people, etc., etc. That's quite an important bit of information. Very, for, very important. For progressive, yeah. <coughs> And if you click on uh, read more, it gives you uh, the info page on infantry as well. Yes. Perfect. All right. So how long will the unit take to uh, actually perform my command? So uh, as soon as you send them a command and they uh, confirm that they've received that command, they're on the move. Depending okay. on the terrain will dictate how quickly they can move, but each of these squares is one kilometer squared. So uh, at the moment they've got to move like say one and a half, two kilometers to get there. So okay, so uh, I'll so unpause it now and see how long seconds it's going to a minute, take. something like that. Perfect. Here we go. So we're waiting for Abel to move to Massini uh, location two. Or if, you, if you call Abel and ask him for a status update, they'll tell you where they are and you can move them periodically or oh. wait for them to get there and they'll tell you that they've arrived. Okay, perfect. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to secure this section of road here with right. my unit. And uh, gonna everyone progress. can see the green pencil. Awesome. Yes. I'm going to progress here to this hill and I'm going to hold this hill in Abel, preparation for moving here. into Pacino. I think I can do that with just one unit. But we'll see. We'll see how much resistance there is there. 
All right, so I just got a status report. Uh, Abel is at Lachini. And they got uh, infantry at India 5. So I'm going to so make them right dig in. If you right click on India 5, you can add, I'll do it this time, but you can add a, a, an enemy unit there. Okay, India 5. And I assume they're heading sort of that way then. Uh, that's India, oh, India 5. So they're at India 5, but they're pushing towards Mashini, I guess. So right. Sort of. So I'm going to make my team dig in. I don't know if you'll be able to make them dig in whilst they're in a firefight. Digging in normally requires them to stop fighting. I see. So, I mean, I can come and give you support. Do you want me to bring Baker around to sure. 12 5? Yeah, maybe you can flank them from uh, Hotel 5, I guess. Okay, Baker are moving now. Come and give you some back. Hey, Abel, here. Lost visual. We've also got... Okay, so okay, we, we last we're taking seen them. fire, so we're not going to be able to give you support. All right, uh, I see that now. All right, so should I call in the reserves? Yeah, do it. Good move. All right, give me a second. How would I go about doing that? So, uh, same as you do every radio communication, if you press and hold the space bar, right. you'll see that deport, deploy reserve is an option, and then it will give you an reserve. option of units that you want to pick from. Infantry. All right, they're at Kilo 9, so I'm going to mark that. Your Charlie unit is at the top of the map there. There it is. So Kilo 9 is right here. And I'm going to make the move to uh, flank this unit, which okay. is at Juliet. Five, I think was the last communication how can I oh I can check the log hold on give me a second uh, so alligator have moved out of uh, the airfield so are you still under attack or, or are you not under I attack now I paused it give me a second uh, let me see let me see where where they said Juliet 6 okay so let me take care of that real quick Juliet 6 so they're here now all right, and I'm going to move to flank them. So Charlie's going to move up here this way. What do you well, think? You can still draw whilst you're... Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. So I'm going to move them up easier. there. So that's Kilo 6. All right, give me a second. I'm unpausing. Charlie, move to Kilo 6. They register that. Charlie, move to Kilo Six. Charlie here, and it's a Kilo Six. Perfect. All right, so they're moving there. My unit is still in Mossini. Uh, give me a status report, Baker. Uh, so we're on top of the hill at Gulf Five. Um, if you've got two units there, you're capable of flanking uh, that enemy unit that was there. So I think we're, we're going to push into the airfield and try and hold that objective, unless you want me to come over and help you out. Uh, maybe we can take care of the infantry unit that's at Juliet 6 first. What do you think before we take the airport? Yep, okay, we can do that, no problem. I shall push across. Uh, where's Juliet 6? So they're there. So if I come and hold this location, then I should block their retreat. They wouldn't be able to move anywhere without going through two of our units. Are you still under attack? Good? No, uh, Alligator have moved out of the airfield. Uh, I've represented that. They've moved to Gulf 2, but they're now out of sight. So I don't okay. know where they've gone from there. 
All right, so we have three teams uh, ready to, uh, two of them are ready to flank. My reserve, Charlie, and your your team, Baker. All right, so let's unpause it. Baker, move two, India four. Should I keep uh, able team in Mossini or should I have them move up? Um, Mossini is not... Oh, nice. So Alligator have moved back into the airfield. Oh. Um, so, uh, yeah, Mossini is not an objective, so there's no real point to stay in there, I guess. Okay, so I'll have them move up to India 6, I guess. would be here. Able, move to India 6. Able here, so move alligator. To six. Alligator are moving across here. I think they're going to come down to Pachino. Yes. So they're trying to reinforce Pachino. I think Alligator are going to be moving all the way across here. Oh, they're engaged. Where are they? Because I'm not engaged with uh, Baker at the moment. Baker is engaged with Alligator from the looks of things. Uh, well, it's not telling me they're engaged. Baker. Um, report status. Ah, uh, India 4. Juliet 3. So there's enemy here. Charlie, report status. Charlie here. You're at Kilo 6. Kilo 6. So they've moved up. Okay, they're here already. Abel, report status. Abel here. You're at India 6. Okay, so, so if you get a status report from Abel and Charlie, we might be able to figure out where that other unit's gone. But I'm pretty sure they're heading towards Pacino. Right. Uh, both my units have not located any uh, enemy. Okay. So do you want to send Abel to the airfield? Absolutely. And secure that, and okay. then we'll take Baker and Charlie and secure Pacino if we can. Abel, move to location three. Abel here, setting up command post in the control tower. Airfield. So once they arrive there, if you get them to dig in, then we can kind of leave them to their own devices. They should be able to hold off any counter-attack, I would say. Do you think the uh, the pencil needs to be slightly thicker so it's more visible? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Or at least give us the chance to... Uh, adjust it. Adjust it. Yeah, I agree. So Abel are moving towards uh, Airfield 3. Where do you want me to position Baker? There's um, there's a bit of a hill at sort of Juliet 2, Juliet 3 location. Yeah, I see that. You could take the crossroads if you want. Which way do you want to attack it? Yeah, the Juliet 3 sounds good. Juliet 3, okay. I'll get my guys to move there. Baker. Move to Juliet 3. Now, I did say at the beginning, Juliet is one of those words or names that doesn't that register. Struggles with. Yeah. So if you can't get it to do it with your voice at the moment, you can right click on the unit and hey, well, click on right, and yeah. move to position, and that works just right. as well. And if you're not going to use voice recognition, that's how you would do it, um, and it does work. Right. Perfect. So let me move Charlie to uh, location one. Ah, Bear. Right. We're, we're going to get artillery now. I'm going to drop it right on Bear, so just bear with me a second. The dog is about to arrive. All right, I'm going to have Charlie move to uh, location one. Charlie, move to location one. Charlie here. Count on us to capture Machino. Dog. Fire barrage at Kilo one. Baker status update. CTU here. Enemy reinforcements are arriving from the north. Charlie here. Flag at 
Machino. Okay, so Baker is, are in position. Do you want us to hold this position or push in? Uh, should I dig in on Pacino? Are you in Pacino? Uh, who, who, who just answered me? Hold on. One of them just answered me. Give me a second. Uh, Charlie here. Okay. Planting the flag at Pacino. So it's Charlie, the reserve company. So they're already there. So I'm going to dig in. All right. Dog. Fire Barrage at India 1. Charlie, dig in. Charlie, dig in. Charlie here. Grab your shovel, boys. We're digging in. How are we doing so far as far as we you're concerned? We've got a lot of infantry coming. we got Dingo coming as well now. Okay, so what's your basic... Uh, let me pause a second. Give, give me a rundown on uh, what's happening so far. So, um, I, I assume Abel are at the airfield, but I'm not sure, because ah. that's under your command. Alright, um, let me get a status. taken Pacino. Let me I'm get a status the... report. Give me a second. Abel, uh, report status. Abel here, you're at Pacino airfield. Dog, fire barrage at Kilo 1. Okay, since Abel is at uh, the airport, should I dig in there too, or should I leave it? Definitely, definitely, yeah. Oh. Abel, dig in. Abel here, Marshal, coming right up. Fire barrage at Kilo 1. Kilo 1. Status report. Dog fire barrage at Kilo Sorry, I just had to drop something on those guys. They were smashing my baby. The operation is nearly over. Okay, so do you want to pause it a second? So Baker are holding the uh, crossroads there. Okay. The T junction there. And we were getting attacked on India 1 by Cheetah, which is just the name given to an enemy unit. Right. Um, Kilo 1 and Lima 1. So I had three units attacking me there. You were in uh, uh, Pacino, which is location one with Charlie. So you were helping me fight off... Uh, alligator. One one. Uh, uh, well, Alligator, Dingo, and whatever's under Dingo. I can't read it right now. So we had quite a few units over there, all of which were uh, pushing towards us. Baker, were, we're not dug in, so we're kind of taking quite a few hits. But you do have the um, higher ground... We do have the higher ground. Well, not from Cheetah. Cheetah are only the from Dingo. Yeah, as us. only from Dingo. Uh, but yes, Dingo, Alligator, they were all pushing up the hill towards Pacino and Baker. So we were probably doing more damage to them than they were doing to us. But because I was getting hit on all three sides, I was getting Dog to drop um, Barrage on top of these guys just to slow them down and thin them out a bit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and that's basically it. that's where we are. So Abel had dug in at the airfield holding that. Charlie, I think you can get into the game, or are they still in fights? Okay, so uh, can we get a status report on uh, on the enemy, or just on ours? Uh, sorry, so not got... status report, uh, unit stats. Uh, hmm. Maybe. I think if you've got a unit that can see them, perhaps, so they can sort of estimate and see... There's a hundred guys there or whatever. But yeah, I, I don't. Sure. I don't see that. It only says report enemy status when I click on them. Oh yeah, that does work. I've not, do you know? You've just you've taught me something there because I didn't know that. <laughs> so they're all there. Yeah, they're all there. 
See, the tutorial for this is pretty good, but there are things that it... It doesn't tell you everything, and that's one of the things that they've never mentioned, so that's really cool. So if I drop a I just opened up I just opened up the game for you all over again. Yeah, yeah, it's like, <laughs> oh, that's new. Uh, so that's really cool cuz I mean, it's so easy to lose track of where the enemy are. Yeah, and you've uh, and you've actually that, you've actually yeah. almost finished this game or have you already finished it? I'm on the very last campaign, so awesome. I've got five awesome. levels left. Yeah. Okay. So The thing is when when you get I mean this is this particular mission is quite relaxed. Yeah, absolutely. So when you get, especially when you're playing single player as well, and you're controlling four or five different units, yeah, and trying to track four or five different enemy units, things I'm, get pretty intense pretty quickly. I'm quick. pretty sure we're going to have tanks and artillery, uh, enemy artillery coming and barraging us as well pretty That's soon. It. All right, so uh, I'm going to unpause. Maybe you can barrage. Uh, I will. The I'll three teams that are together, yeah. Okay. Mike one. All right, go for it. Dog. Fire barrage at dog one. Mike one. I nearly said the wrong one, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. Oh, why is it dropping it there? I did say Mike one. Dog. Fire barrage at Mike one. Sorry about that. A Charlie OK because I've just dropped a barrage on it. So that was a direct hit. We wiped out an entire company apparently. Fantastic. Dog. Five barrage at Mike 1. Just to make sure. So I dropped one on top of Charlie by accident. Are they OK? I think so. Uh, let me report. Let me see status report. Give me a second. I think you just completely obliterated my team, but we'll see. Are they still there? Because we need that objective. Yeah, we'll see. I'll check out now. Give me a second. Uh, Charlie, report status. Charlie here. We are at Lima three. We're on route to Hilo two. Got a few wounded, but nothing serious. We've got a few wounded, but nothing serious. They're moving from <laughs> Lima three to Kilo two. So they're not there then. Baker, move to location one. Okay, so I'll push in just to make sure we've got that objective. I can hear gunfire, but I'm not sure who's firing. I'm getting no animations. But why is my t Charlie team uh, moving to Kilo 2, even though I told them to dig in at Pacini? Uh, probably because I just dropped a... Um... <laughs> Charlie. Alright. Charlie. Oh, Able what happened? Here. That was a tough battle. Oh, we're, we're done. Ready. Charlie here. Okay. Lost it. But it could have been worse. We're done. So, so after the mission, you get a bunch of radio comms. Some of it's quite funny actually. There's uh it made me laugh the other day. There was this unit that got lost in the middle of a forest. And I spent the entire mission trying to get them to figure out where they were. And at the end of the game, they went, look, this is really embarrassing, but we still don't know where we are. <laughs> Which made me laugh. So, basically... But you're we, supposed to predict now yeah. how strong the enemy are. So, I and predict that how we... how accurate you are, you get more bonus points. I predict that we encountered four enemy infantry. I didn't see anything I'd, else. I'd agree with that. Okay. So, let's see if we're right. Yes, spot on. So, you can see your bonus veterancy goes up as a result. And then you can apply that to your units, making them stronger and so on and so forth. Wow, we got five out of five on both objectives. We did. Courageous and we wiped out Alligator as well. Now, what's interesting about this is that the units you have available to you are... are um, I'm not sure if persistent is the right word, but if they die in a mission, right. that's it, they're gone for the, the entire campaign. You don't get them back. Interesting. Here you go. You get the medal, uh, Mike. You're Baker team. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome, buddy. You were uh, truly honorable, dedicated, and uh, committed to wiping out everybody. And Dog, Dog did a great job as well. So 
Maybe we could have gotten a second medal for uh, to pass out the dog, but unfortunately we they're, can't. They're a bit tight with the medals in this game. I, yeah. <laughs> I give everybody a medal. I want about 400 medals and I give one to each person. Well, we, we could give like uh, different category medals, like who did this gets that yeah. and who did this yeah. gets that. Like maybe two or three medals per mission. That would be interesting. That would be nice. That would be nice. Purple heart for those who are injured. So what do I press now? I don't see any. Oh, okay. So this bit's a bit complicated. It's not complicated, but the UI is quite decent, but this bit isn't so good. So if you click on bonus veterancy, then you'll see the ability to move on pop up. But it's um, kind of hidden underneath everything else, isn't it? Right. I, I see enemy strength estimates. I see... On the, uh, the left-hand side, we've got... Right, so it's bonus veterancy. Okay. Just click on that, and then it'll all go to the back. And you'll right. see that we've got a major victory. Outstanding. All objectives are achieved. Uh, you and your troops will be written up for commendation. Yep. Got it. So we can save the replay. And it'll give you a whole rundown in fast-forward mode, I guess. Yes. Well, you can, you can do it at any speed you like. But... Um, where we don't get to see where the units are at all, we're just moving around the markers. The replay will show you where everybody was and what they were doing and how many units there were. And... Oh, I'm going to save that and probably showcase it in the video as well. Cool. So we're going to cool. call this Sicily 1. Sicily 1, yeah. Save that. And let's continue the show. So this is going to get a bit tougher now, guys. Uh, would you want to do it now or you want to do it in the next episode? I'm happy to go straight through, yeah. All right, cool for it. Let's go for it. Okay, so we completed Mission 1, Battle of Pacino Airfield. Mission 2 is Battle of Talgarnera. Talgarnera. All right, after night march through ridges and mountains one unit has become lost and we have lost communication with another enemy panzers are on the way and the town of volganera oh volganera sorry uh must be taken before morning oh shit oh crap all right cool the game didn't glitch out again so uh that's fortunate volganera sicily Welcome to Volganera. Features high, hilly, high above sea level, sulfur mine, thermal baths. Over 500 meters above sea, sea level, Volganera would have made an impressive defensive position, offering both a stunning and panoramic growth in the century preceding the war. Population tripling from 5,000 to 15,000 in the second half of the 19th century. This was due to a further development of agriculture and industry with advances. Uh, sulfur extraction and production of cooked products. Fantastic. And here we have uh, historical field, geographic info there. Field service pocketbook. Uh, we also have background to victory. Surtout les francs. Ah, we have French in here as well. Oui, c'est tout les francs. Attack on all fronts. Attack on all fronts. And a nice picture of a, uh, two tanks on a, on a train. Yeah, which, what tanks do you think they are? I was trying to figure this out. They're not M4 Shermans, are they? Are they Churchills, perhaps? I don't know. I can't tell. They don't look like Abrams, either. They would probably we be need Churchills. A, we need a tank specialist to clarify. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe so they can, can let us know in the chat. All right, yeah, nothing else cool. to click on, so let's continue the game. All right, overview. Let's check object objectives. Hold Valganera. Uh, hold crossroads. And every two enemy tank casualties. What does it mean by that? Plus so one on every, every two enemy tank casualties. Yeah. And minus one. And for every casualty that uh, we, we get from a tank attack 
uh, we, we lose points, basically. Right, so if we actually do a two damage to enemy tanks, we get one point. If we lose 100 friendly casualties, we get minus one point. Correct. So how do we do damage to uh, tanks? So tanks are susceptible from the rear more than anywhere else. Okay. So um, attacking a tank from the front is pretty much uh, a death sentence. All right. What you need to do really is either attack it from behind, which will give you a, a bit of a boost, I guess. Mm -hmm. But the best way to do it is to flank it. So you have one unit attacking from one side, one unit attacking from the other side, the tanks in the middle, and basically it doesn't matter which way they face, they're going to get hit. Okay, perfect. So it says exhausted units perform pro poorly in combat. Understrength units start with fewer troops. Units not deployed on a mission get a chance to rest, removing both exhausted and understrength effects. Deployed units become veteran and gain specialization points that can be spent when examining that unit. Right click unit card. So basically the units that we fought with in the previous map, we shouldn't take them into this map. So they yeah. actually uh, get better with experience. So it would be yes. one on, one off, one on, one off in other words. Like a switch. There are occasions where you have to take an exhausted unit. Oh, really? So, for example, if we have... I think we have two sniper units available to us. But if we're on a mission that requires us to have two sniper units, they both have to go, even if one is under strength or even exhausted. Alright, so I'm going to take uh, three rivers tanks, which are reliable, and I'm going to have them in the tank slot. Oh, it doesn't let me. Why so the tank slot, do you see on your deployed, I can't see your screen obviously, but on your yeah. deployed unit side, you should see some green and some blue. Yeah, the green ones are yours, I guess? Uh, yes. So ah. the same applies here. Green is yours, but obviously reverse to what you see. I see, there's so you see three green slots. A, there's also a little picture of a present. Do you see that? Yeah, what is that? If you click on that, you're effectively giving me control of that unit. Interesting. So yeah, I'll give you one. I'll give you this one. Okay. And I'll so have now you two give slots. Me the reserves, and yeah. I can just hand it straight back to you, or I can keep it. But isn't isn't that cool? You can do that any time throughout the mission. You can say, hey, look, I'm really busy dealing with this fight over here. Can you take my reserves Absolutely. and bring them around the back? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I really like that. I think that's a great feature for the game. Fantastic. All right, so I'm gonna have my C fourth Highlanders infantry move up, and let's get some reinforcements. So uh, they're gonna be um, let's get the London Edmonton infantry. I like the name, Loyal Edmonton infantry. Sorry. All right, so looks like I'm ready to go. Uh, how about you on your side? Uh, you've still got one reserve slot. Oh, I have three. Empty. I have three. Right. I, I handed it back to you. Oh, no, you can have it. You can have it. You sure? Yeah, yeah. I don't mind. Go ahead. Okay, uh, let's stick the reliables in there then. So what we're going to do on this mission, Jimmy, is uh, I'm going to give you complete control. So you tell me where you want to take my unit. Oh, no, don't do that. Not on the second mission. Yeah. <laughs> do it. You're ready. No. You're capable. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not capable. Trust me. <laughs> this is too early for me. Confusion reigns tonight. Able is lost. Lost units can be reoriented if they arrive at a road or a landmark. We also lost communication with Baker. Circled on the map is Baker's last known position. Move a unit closer to Baker to re-establish contact. God damn it. What, one of the things, uh, another thing I really like about this is when you like in a, a big fight and there's a lot of stuff going on, sometimes the radio of a unit will break or they'll, the guy with the radio dies or whatever happens but you lose communication with them okay you don't know if they're alive or dead oh so the first thing first thing i have to do is actually send a unit but my unit is lost so i have to locate my unit first yeah and then i can send it down to you to actually see if your yeah. radio is working correct all right, so let's try that. Uh, let's so start your, the your game. guys are lost, but they still have a radio. My guys are lost, and they don't have a radio. 
Okay, so let me give them. Uh, let's get a, re a report location. Uh, Abel, report location. Abel here. We're live. What we can see a uh, road one AM north. Hold on. All right, so I see a road north. Uh, Abel King sees a road north, so I'm going to have them uh, move up north first to locate where they are. Good Abel. Thinking. I'm going to have some brandy. Move to north. Head north. Abel here, Buck. Heading to the north. All right, so I should... Act, we started the game? No, we didn't start it yet, right? Uh, no, we haven't started the game yet. Okay, so uh, I... One thing to note, uh, yeah. top right hand side rather is uh, we've got an enemy tank there with an eight minute marker so we know that there are panzer tanks coming or tiger tanks coming okay so i'll uh, pause frequently minutes. from now on so right. do you know what the objectives are uh yes i checked them earlier we give me a second let's bring that up again objectives hold uh volganera hold the crossroads which would be where would the cross this one here? Hold on, let me mark it. Damn it. We have no artillery this time. Let's get this back out. X. So markers. Let's bring out the blue pencil. Blue pencil. There we go. So crossroads to me would be this mark area here nope no no nope. how about this one correct okay so so the the key objectives um in every mission always have a location name by them right so location two being crossroads location one being balconera awesome all right let's get a better angle on the uh map give me a second There we go. All right, crossroads location two. So we got that. Uh, Volganera is with the other objective, and then we have every two enemy tank casualties and every one hundred friendly casualties. So those are objectives as well. All right, anything you want to add to that? Or are we so, ready to go? Look, looking at the uh, the objectives, Valganera is obviously worth more points than the Crossroads. Okay. Um, so that has to be our priority. Okay. Equally, because we know where the tanks are coming from, we've kind of got a pretty good idea of what route they're going to take. So if we can think about setting up some sort of ambush, um, one, one great way of ambushing them is to put a dug-in unit in Valganera but um, as I say that's only going to attack them from one side so if we can attack them from two sides uh, that would be even better as for crossroads I've no idea how we would take that because I don't know what's there right okay so we'll leave crossroads for now uh, let me call in the reserves as well deploy reserves infantry infantry Anything else cool. you want to add? My units. Yep, okay. So I assume they're going to land around about there. Okay. That's in five minutes. What else can I uh, do? That's, uh, the five minutes is an automatically deployed thing. So you've called in reserves, which is slightly different to that. Okay. But I think, I think this is the drop zone here. I'm not 100% sure, but I think everything right. that comes in will be flown over and dropped sort of there. Is there anything else in your opinion that uh, you think I should do before I start the game? Um, well, uh, you can tell me what you want me to do with the two units I have. I mean, obviously I haven't got control of Baker until you find them, but once I find them, uh, you can tell me where you want me to go or we All can right. discuss I think when we you should... find them. It's up to you. I think you should, you should You're start... a boss, man. Yeah, I think you should start heading here. That way, if the got tanks you. move up, you can have the rear flank. Roger. With Baker. Like that. And Easy uh, can actually start taking Volganera along with uh, my unit. Roger. 
if we actually manage to find the unit. Because they're still <laughs> yeah. lost. <laughs> what do you think of that? I think Easy might be lost as well when they land, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, so uh, are we covered? Should I continue? Start the Let's game? Do it. I know what I'm doing. I'm ready to go. Perfect. Here we go. HQ here, right away, sir. Starting operation. All right, so Abel is at Juliet 6. I'm going to move their marker right now. Juliet 6, which is right over here. And I should give them some kind of... Uh... Ooh, sorry to interject, Jimmy. One thing I, I, yeah. I forgot to mention. When you're playing on medium or easy, if you place one of those units in exactly the right place, right? they start... You see that sort of blue pulse emanating from it? Yeah. That means that you've correctly identified their location, like 100%, and they then get like a performance bonus, so they're actually being more effective as a unit. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah. I didn't know that. All right, so um, my ABLE unit, I've located it. Where do you think I should uh, head, in your opinion? Well, I kind of need you to come over towards Baker and find my unit, because they've got no radio at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to move over to your direction here. Which I wish it was just a little thicker. Uh, so you're apparently at mic eight. All right. So let me give them a <clears throat> command. Well, I've put it there, but I'm somewhere within that big circle. I don't All know right. where exactly. Okay. Abel, move to. Lima. Seven. Table here, Lima. Seven. Even though they say Lima. Yeah, I know. Isn't it weird? Yeah. The communication that they use is Lima, and everybody references it <laughs> as Lima, but it only understands you if you say Lima, which is <laughs> strange. I hope they Easy fix status that. status report. I, I'm sure they will, but maybe they don't know about it. All right. Easy. So Head north. All right, so I'm pausing again. We located Baker because it actually moved, or did you move it? Uh, no, it moved itself because we're on the medium level, so it does move units when they're discovered. So we actually know where uh, Baker is now, right? So I can move yes. my team towards you. Yes. All right, so I'm going to have this. And easy are lost, but they could, like you, they can see a road north of them. So I'm, I'm sending them north so that I get a, a pinpoint location for them. Perfect. So I'm erasing this one and I'm adding a new line. Oh, wait. Right click. Right click. Hello. Okay, I'm going to add the new line here moving towards you. Right, so I'm on pausing. I'm going to give them a new uh, direction. So that is. Uh, I can call out Baker, right? As a. Uh you uh, can't control Baker, but I'll, I'll I'll get them moving where you want them. No, I mean uh, when I give Abel a command, I can tell them go to Baker, right? Uh, oh, uh, I don't know. Let I me try. Let so. me try that. Let me try that. Uh, Abel, move to uh, Baker. No, that didn't work. Abel, move to November six. November 6. I'm moving to Oscar 6, by the Able. way. Abel. Abel. Move to November 6. Abel here. Moving to Great November 6. All right. So they're Baker. actually moving. Move to Oscar 6. Here. Easy. Status report. Easy. Report status. Easy. Move to location one. Okay, go. Uh, Baker are in position. Do you want me to dig in? Uh, that is affirmative. Baker, dig in. So I'm going to put a uh, 
like a square there so that you you know that I'm dead. Table here, Alpha Nera, he's under new management. And easy have arrived at Valganera. Do you want me to dig in there as well? Yes, sir. Abel, report status. Abel here, you're at Mike 6 easy. on our way to November Dig-in. 6. Alright, so they're at Mike 6. So they're going to meet up with you real soon. Uh, do we know if the radio is working, uh, Baker? So when you locate, when you located Baker, right? My interpretation is that you gave them a spare radio or the parts to fix their radio. So they're now online. Yeah. So what should I do with Abel now? Uh, whatever you want. Um, what's your plan? Are you taking the tanks? Are you leaving the crossroads? How about, but incidentally, how about, the crossroads, uh, if we don't clear the crossroads, you can't call in the tanks. So that's Say again? The crossroads. So the crossroads at location two, we need to clear that in order to bring our tanks in. Do you have any reserves you can call in? I can't call in reserves, only you can. But they're under your control, right? Yes, but you've got overall control. Okay. At least I don't think I can. Let me try. Yeah, go for it. You need to unpause though. Sorry. <laughs> Deploy reserve infantry. Deploy reserve infantry. Yeah, I don't know. It, do, it doesn't work when I try and do it, so I assume not. Let me try. Oh, I don't have that option anymore. Oh. So we Pro brought reserve in... infantry. See, it, it kind of... It does it, but nothing happens. So I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, it's only under your uh, guidance. Okay. So the tanks are arriving in 4 minutes and 14 seconds. Should, um, should we flank them as a team or uh, what do you think? Uh, whatever you decide is fine by me. I think we should t uh, flag, flank them as a team. Okay. That way they'll be Ooh. taken care of quicker I guess. Yes. I think the more guns and bombs and stuff we throw at them the quicker they'll stop moving okay so how I've about just we, noticed what how about just, we uh, move it realize i need to when you dig in you know i've drawn that square there yeah it also drops these three little dots on the square that i'm dug in on okay so that's actually a visual representation of being dug in so i, I needn't have done the square really all right so would you like me to move to uh what is that oscar Papa, Papa Six. Would you uh, like? I wouldn't go because that obviously, if you look at the contours, that's down on the ground. Yeah. I I think you'd be better off staying. <clears throat> excuse High me, ground. staying up on some of the darker area. Yeah. Right. Okay. So we just let time roll. Oh, we got a unit deployed here. Find us. Someone dropped the map. Well, what do you want to do with Crossroads uh, location two? Anything or nothing? I don't know. Uh, it's your call. Should we bring in the the reserve that you have? Well, you've just got Charlie in. Okay, so let's get Charlie into the location too. What do you think? I think Charlie are going to have dropped sort of here and they'll be lost. I don't know for sure. All right, so let's give it a go. Uh, let me call in Charlie. See what they're doing. Uh, Charlie? Report location. Charlie, report location. Charlie here, we're lost. Well, we can see us road. One kilometer north of us. Charlie, head north. Charlie here, you got it. Moving north. Oh, wow. The crossroads are defended by anti tank guns. We can deploy our tanks if you capture the crossroads. Damn. So I'm thinking maybe if you bring Charlie, uh, Charlie over here to this hill. 
yeah. you might get a better idea of what's in the crossroads. Awesome, awesome, I'll do that. If you right click and look at their stats. Oh, I've just given you control of my unit by accident. Can I have easy back, please? Uh, how do I do that? Just right click on easy. Got and it, click done, on the, done. Um, thank you. So if you right click on a unit and go to unit stats, it will tell you their, their sight range. So my easy unit can see two kilometers, which is two squares. Yep, same here um, for Charlie. For Charlie. So if you stick them up on that hill, they should just be able to see the crossroads. Right. Maybe tell us what's there. Charlie. Being shot and killed, hopefully. Oh, wait. What is that location? That is Echo 8. Charlie. Echo 8. Move to Echo 8. Hopefully that'll work. Just having a quick sip of brandy. Or are they still lost? Tanks arriving in 30 seconds. Oh, they're at India 6. So let's take care of that. India 6 is here. Charlie, move to Echo 8. Enemy reinforcements are arriving from the east. Here come the tanks. Why aren't they getting a, why aren't I getting a response from Charlie? Uh, are they, are they receiving your... Yeah, they are. So Baker are, are engaging with the tanks right now. Nice. I don't know where they are though. Charlie. Report there location. Charlie. Move to Echo 8. Charlie here. Roger. Moving to Echo 8. Finally. If you want to take your voice commands, you can right click on him and just tell him to move that way. Able. Dig in. Status report. Sounds like we're giving those tanks a good slap. Nice. And we could actually look at the uh, status report of the tank. Enemy Able status. Uh, we can look at the location of it. They're at November 3. They're being pushed back. November 3? Yeah. Are they? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't tell me that on my one. Yeah, it does for me. So we should move them here. And we can I guess I don't have line of sight of that. That's too far away for me to be able to see it. Yeah, I should so move up one. They're basically going over the hills trying to get to Valganera, I guess. Should I move up uh, to November 5 or no, or Mike 5 with Abel? Yeah. yeah, yeah, by all means. What do you want me to do with the Baker? Hold or move? Uh, let me give the command first and then we'll take care of yours. Abel, move to Mike 6. Mike 5. Abel here. All right. Heading to Grace Mike 6. Abel. Move to Mike 5. Mike 5. Abel here. Moving to Grace Mike 5. Perfect. So they're going to move here. Abel here. Spotting alligator at November 3. Heading north. Abel here. We are here at Mike 5. 
All right, so they're at my five. And let's clear this up. Sorry, man. Sorry, give me a second. No, no, let's clear all this up. Uh, so you're still at Baker. You're still at... All right, I think you should move. I think you should move up beside me uh, on uh, November 5. Say again? I think you should move up Baker team at November 5 if you can. Uh, here? Yes, sir. Much of that. Baker, move to no, uh, la, 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 November 5. Charlie, status report. Charlie here. We're at Echo 8. Charlie. Okay, we've got, we're being attacked at Valganera. Easy. Report status. Should we push up to Mike 3 and Lima 3? Get yep. on the hill there. Yep, absolutely. Baker, move to Mike 3. Abel. Move to Lima 3. Cable here. All right. Heading to Grid Lima 3. What's going on with Charlie? What have they seen? I'm going to have them move up a bit. Time's almost up. Remember your objective. One minute, 50 seconds remaining. Easy. Status report. Charlie. Report status. Charlie, move to Delta 7. Delta 7. Delta 7. God damn it. Charlie, move to Delta 7. Delta 7. Delta 7. Charlie here. Jesus Christ. Delta. They're not taking Delta either. Charlie here. Got eyes on infantry at crossroads. Oh, we have uh, visual on crossroads. Charlie here. We can see anti-tank guns at crossroads. Status, status report. Okay, so there's enemy here and here. Roger that. What kind of enemies? I'm guessing one is an anti-tank and one must be an infantry or something. Charlie, report status. All right, so the Panzers are falling back. That's awesome. Oh, nice. I didn't get that info. All right, so we got anti-tank guns, bear. I placed the figurine. Do you see it? What's weird is you've now got control of all four units. Have you noticed? What's that? Say again. You've got control of all four units. I don't have control of any of them. Oh, how is that? Wait, wait a second. Able here. Enemy falling back on that. Looks like we won. We won? Wow. We won. We did it. Able here. We took some losses and we'll need some. So, how many infantry did we see? I think we saw. No infantry. Here. Am I right? Did, did you say that Charlie spotted some of the crossroads? Or did I miss oh yeah, we did. We did. We saw one. At least one then. Yeah. We saw tanks. We know That's there was one. one. One lot of tanks and one An anti-tank. Anti-tank, yeah. So I think did that's about it. Else? I don't know. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I don't remember seeing anything else. No. There was definitely no snipers. I didn't see any scouts. No. No, no, ar no artillery either. So let's okay, send the report in. Spot on. 100% right. That is fantastic. Maximum bonus. And this is the first time we actually do the crossroads, right? We didn't get the crossroads. Oh, we didn't get it. Oh, damn. Uh, I think you have to wipe out any enemies that are there. Yeah, yeah. 
um, which we didn't do. We didn't take out the anti-tank guns. Shame. But we did very good as a mission as a whole. Yeah, we got 200% there. We've got a medal as well, which is real nice. I think we should give that to you, uh, to um, to your guys. Uh, able team or uh, yeah, able team. What do you think? Or uh, whichever you choose. Able or Baker. Uh, Baker. Charlie lost more people. Don't okay. give it to Baker. Baker have already got a medal from the last mission. Right. Okay. So am I big heads if they get two? Hold on. Where's killed in action three? Is that? Am I reading that right, or is it five? K I A five for Charlie. Three missing in action. Twenty four wounded. So I think able team should get it. As uh, oh, they only have one. Oh no, they have ten killed in action. I think able should get it. Fair enough. I'm happy with that. Abel led the entire thing, basically. They yeah. were in it from the start. That is awesome. All right, so that's done. Let's I also on. like that it, it tells you how many rounds they expended. Yeah. Uh, the distance they traveled, the damage that they dealt the enemy. So definitely uh, Abel were the best because they delivered 113.4 units of damage. Absolutely. Which is really cool. And gained the most experience. So and, yeah, yeah 170. That's right. 80 so troops remaining. So what are your thoughts remaining. on the game, bearing in mind... Very detailed, in very in-depth. Uh, didn't encounter too many bugs. So just the, uh, a bit of uh, voice uh, activation needs to be adjusted. Yeah. Uh, overall, it's overall, it's very uh, intricate. There's a lot to learn. A lot of details provided in the game. I do like it a lot. But as a whole, uh, to be honest, I'm more of a sim gamer. So I'm more of a <clears throat> hands-on, give, give me the machine, let me work it. This, to yeah. me, like strategy, I like strategy, but I'm not good at it at all. I was never good at strategizing, especially in uh, wartime. I get very, very nervous. Yeah. I'm not it a general. A layer of complexity, doesn't it? Cause yeah, you're... I'm not a general, and I would oh, run. Yeah. I would run to the hills if I if I was ever put in that position. Well, that's a good move, Jimmy, because you got better line of sight <laughs> when you're up there. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's my thoughts on it. What are your thoughts on it, uh, Mike? I really like this kind of thing. I mean, I'm I'm a massive World War II buff anyway, so anything. Uh, like this because because it captures so many like snippets and video footage and I, we haven't seen it yet but I did uh, mention it to you yesterday it even forces you at certain points in the game to write letters to the to the oh mothers yes you did mention died. that the, the yeah. killed in, um, killed in action you can actually write letters to them that's it that is so awesome I, it, it, I think it does a really good job of capturing the essence of World War Two, what it must have been like, um, and you know, I for one personally have huge amounts of respect for anyone who was in World War Two, whatever role they played. Uh, even the people at home who were suffering, you know, bombings and stuff like that. It, it must have been a horrific time. We're going through a difficult time now, but it's nothing in comparison to what these guys. Oh, absolutely. It, absolutely! it just brings that back to me. It makes me really appreciate so honourable. Yeah, so from that perspective, I give it a massive thumbs up. Definitely, the voice commands needs a bit of tweaking, a bit of work, but um, it's nearly there, isn't it? It's nearly a full package. Yeah, remember, uh, guys, when uh, these guys were actually fighting the war, they were uh, half our age. So uh, yeah, uh, you got to think like back and 16, say 16, 17. Yeah, and now they're actually veterans and war heroes out there. So if one of them is your grandpa or uh, uncle or any kind of a friend, neighbor, uh, go give him a big hug and tell him uh, respect. Maybe shake their hands. Yep, absolutely. So cheers, guys. It's always good to remember. And Remembrance Day is uh, quite a special day indeed for all war veterans and everybody out there. So thank you. Thank you, Mike, for uh, providing me with this experience thank you to uh foolish mortals for providing us with keys to this game absolutely amazing yeah thanks guys so cheers i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh this has been uh 
a first look at Radio General. Uh, big shout out to everyone out there who developed this game. You guys did an amazing job. Good team. Releases on Steam on the 9th. Perfect. Uh, do we know how so much it's gonna to... how much it's gonna go for? I don't have a price. Um, I'll I know what I think the price will be roundabout. What would what would you think a fair price to be? I think it's gonna be about twenty two, twenty five euros. About. I, I was thinking between fifteen and twenty quid. So that's oh, about the that's same, cool. I'd say, isn't it? Yeah, because yeah. it's more linear. It's more. Uh, it's not much. Also, um, just just to push something else in there. It's got the ability to create your own maps and your own situations. Um, it's a bit buggy at the moment. Mm -hmm. I haven't actually been able to do it. But um, I'm sure when it releases, or soon after it releases, that'll be up and running. So I absolutely, only, I absolutely There's only like love... 20 missions now, but I think once the community gets hold of it, there could be hundreds, if not thousands of missions. And the map size can be enormous. So Fantastic. I absolutely love the fact that they have online co-op and that we were able to get on this uh, uh, together at the same time. That is, I haven't seen this before in a strategy game like this. No, it 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 really works as well, doesn't it? Yeah, I love absolutely. the way that we can swap units between us, and you know, you take them, I take them. It's incredible. It's great. It's a great experience, guys, and I hope you guys get your friends together in on this and experience what we've done as well. So uh, cheers to everyone. Don't forget, guys, share, like, favorite, subscribe, do all those good things, and hit up Sim UK. Tell them you came from our channel. Uh, go say hello. Go subscribe to him. He has a lot of good stuff out there, guys, uh, especially the review series that he has. Is it any good? It's called. Check it out. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, mate. And the same applies, by the way, anyone watching this video who doesn't know about Jimmy, which is unbelievable if you don't definitely head over there check him out he's you got so much content going on over there and i've said this a hundred times before jimmy daly in my humble opinion is the best simulation driver i've ever seen he's so calm it's so controlled it's brilliant so if you're into that kind of thing head on over there thank you buddy thank you so much uh guys thank you all for watching join us in the next one hit that bell icon just to be sure Bye all. Thanks. Bye bye.